12 weirdest genetic scientific experiments. Number 12. Genetically modified poplar trees. What with us humans polluting the earth with all our garbage and heating up the earth's atmosphere with greenhouse gases, there's no doubt that the environment could use all the help it can get. That's where scientists at the University of Washington come in. They've been engineering poplar trees to absorb pollutants found in the groundwater through their roots. Wild poplar trees can only remove 3% of trichloroethylene, which happens to be the most common pollutant found in groundwater. Astonishingly, the genetically modified poplar poplar trees are able to collect an amazing 91% of triochloroethylene. The pollutant then gets broken down and the harmless byproducts assimilate into the tree itself or into the air. Number 11, genetically modified salmon. It was back in 2015 that the FDA approved the Aqua Advantage salmon into the United States food supply and is the first genetically modified animal to do so. The company Aqua Bounty Technologies created this salmon that is capable of growing to twice the size of a regular salmon in about half the time. This was made possible thanks to implanting a growth hormone regulating gene from a Chinook salmon and a promoter from an eel pout that acts as an on switch for the gene into the Aqua Advantage salmon, thus allowing the salmon to grow year-round instead of just in the spring and summer in a span of 18 months rather than the regular three years it takes to develop a full-sized salmon. Number 10. Genetically modified mice. It was completely unintentional when Japanese scientists behind the Evolved Mouse Project ended up creating genetically modified mice that are capable of chirping like birds. Apparently, the scientists just slightly modified the animals, allow them to breed with one another and see what the results will be like. It's been noted that it's only the males who chirp and sing like a bird when females are around them or even if they get a hint of their scent. Don't expect to hear any singing mice though. The frequency at which they chirp is too high for the human ear to possibly listen to. Instead, special microphones are needed to record them and the chirping is later played back on a lower frequency. Number nine, genetically modified pigs. These environmentally friendly pigs called enviro pigs, or as some critics have dubbed them, Frankenswines are pigs that have been genetically modified in order to reduce their phosphorus emission. Pig manure contains high levels of phytate, a form of phosphorus, and when it's used as fertilizer, all of that phytate makes its way into watersheds that ultimately kills marine life. To combat this, scientists have injected pig embryos with mice DNA and E. coli bacteria. This modification allows the pigs to better digest and process phosphorus and cuts the production of the chemical by up to an incredible 70%. Number eight, genetically modified camels. Scientists in Dubai are currently experimenting on camels to try and create special curated proteins in their milk that would help in the fight against diseases. They're focusing on camels as test subjects because of several factors that include them being cheap, adaptable to many climates, and are disease resistant. No word as to when these experiments will yield successful results. Number seven, genetically modified mosquitoes. Mosquitoes have always been found to be nothing more than a pest that carries and infects people with diseases such as malaria. It's estimated that around 1 million people die from the disease each year, as well as 300 million people becoming infected. This is why scientists have created mosquitoes that are resistant to the plasmodium parasite, making them almost perfectly immune to the disease. However, the parasite evolves quickly and could become resistant. That's why scientists have also made mosquitoes that die before they reach sexual maturity. As much of a nuisance as mosquitoes are, they're actually a vital part of the entire ecosystem, and if they were to die off, other predators such as bats would face extinction as well. Number six, genetically modified chicken eggs. A British researcher named Helen Sang has managed to create chickens that are filled with human DNA that carry certain proteins that aid in the fight against skin cancer. The eggs that these chickens lay will be made up of half of these drug proteins and will then be isolated so they can be given to the patients. This would make the process of producing the drug much cheaper and in a more efficient manner because there isn't a need to use any expensive bioreactors. However, People have questioned if this will allow chickens to be reclassified as medical equipment instead of animals and work around animal rights laws. Number five, genetically modified bananas. An Indian research team successfully cultivated bananas that come infused with the vaccination for hepatitis B back in 2007. Not only that, but they've also managed to infuse other produce such as lettuce, potatoes, carrots, and even tobacco. Basically, what a vaccine does is it introduces a weaker version of whatever virus into your body and allows your immune system to create antibodies to help defend against the foreign invader if you should come into contact with the full strength form. 
That's why doctors suggest you should get a flu shot every year in case if the virus has adapted into a strain that's now immune. Number four, genetically modified cabbage. It was back in 2002 when researchers at the College of Life Sciences in Beijing created a strain of cabbages that are laced with one of the most toxic venoms known to man. This venom is derived from Androctonus australis, a species of scorpion that is one of the deadliest in the world and claims several lives each year. Their venom is as toxic as that of the black mambas, so why would someone put this in something they eat? Well, the venom is actually modified so that it will only harm insects and acts as a built-in pesticide towards caterpillars who try to eat it. Many wonder how long it would take for these cabbages to potentially develop a strain that could actually be toxic to humans. Number three, genetically modified tadpoles. A biologist by the name of Elizabeth Jones and a neuroscientist named Nicholas Dale, who both work at the University of Warwick along with their team, have managed to discover a genetic switch that causes tadpoles to develop an extra eye. This was found out when they were researching how ectoenzyme molecules were injected into the developing embryos of the African clawed frog that were made up of just eight cells. One of the ectoenzymes led to the third eye being grown, and it even grows an extra eye when injected into other developing body cells, which made tadpoles grow eyes on their abdomen, sides, and tail. Number two, genetically modified goats. A professor at the University of Wyoming named Randy Lewis has successfully created goats that are able to produce milk with spider silk proteins. Spider silk is one of the strongest materials to be found on Earth and has a multitude of uses, such as bandages, bulletproof vests, and even artificial tendons. Unfortunately, harvesting all this silk takes a tremendous amount of time and from thousands of spiders that can't be kept in the same environment because they tend to kill each other. That's where goats come to help solve this issue. By splicing their milk producing gene with the spider silk gene, Lewis was able to create goat offspring that were able to keep the silk gene. Before we reveal number one, let us know in the comments below which one of these genetic modifications can prove to be the most useful. And don't forget to subscribe. Number one, genetically modified cow's milk. In a weird event, scientists in China have successfully mixed cloned human genes into the DNA of a cow embryo that was then inserted into a female cow. This is how they were able to create cow milk that has exactly the same genetic makeup as the milk a human mother would produce. Ning Li, who is in charge of this research, has stated the gene splicing has already worked on over 200 cows. The whole reason behind this experimentation is because they want to create a genetically modified alternative for baby formula, though people are skeptical about feeding their baby anything genetically modified.